morning guys. Get ready to start the day. Yo, what are you doing? Yo. Why are you standing so still? Hmm? Where they are, buddy? <laughs> so in this video, uh, many of you guys wanted to ask me and wanted to know what kind of equipment I'm using to film these videos. And, well, yeah, make a video about that. Show you what I got. Oh, first thing first, little update about the cruise ship thing. Uh, Princess Ruby, I think it was. It's like one of the biggest ships there are. There are. Uh, so that ship is traveling all across the world, as far as I can see. Uh, I didn't little do. Uh, I didn't do a lot of research on it, but I think so. It goes to Asia, Asia uh, Australia, Europe, and uh, US and A. So, yeah. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna do a little research for you guys so you can see what kind of ship it is. It's like the biggest, biggest class, so I don't, I'm not really big a fan of it because I was working on a big ship and I know bigger ship means more walking, bigger ship means two dining rooms, two floors, a lot of people, bigger target, everything is bigger. The team is bigger, the salary is less. Sometimes can be a good thing, sometimes it doesn't. For example, on my smaller ship I have less people, but less people mean more, made more friends. On the bigger ship, everyone was tired, no one was at the crew bar, no one was, there was like no people at all. Sometimes maybe a good thing, sometimes maybe not, but we will see. Bigger ships has basketball yard, have bigger uh, pools, bigger decks, bigger everything power slides or whatever but and bigger ships are more stable there won't be any wobbling around uh, which is smaller ships are a little bit more wobbly but that's not a problem for us because we are used to have for any weather there is so that's not really big problem for us but for the guests is and some for the faint hearted who are like can get used to the ship life for the next three months yeah it can be a problem but for me, it took only one cruise to get used to it. Okay, I wanted to record something for you guys to show you how this crew, how the ship looks like, how big is it, destination he's going, and where we're gonna where we're gonna take my camera with me. I'm gonna show you all around when I get there. So let's start. It holds 3,000 passengers, 1,200 uh, crew. So it's not like the biggest biggest ship, but it's decent size. It's big enough, 3,000 guess it's not a joke. Sailing dates, destination. So I'm flying to Sydney, Australia. That's where I start the cruises. But this, uh, this ship also goes to Alaska, Australia, uh, New Zealand, Hawaii, Mexico, and Tahiti, Pacific, South Pacific. I don't know where it is. We're gonna find out. So yeah, it's a big, pretty big ship. It's gonna be a lot of work. Probably two dining rooms. To two floors, I mean, two floors of dining rooms, so that's like four in total, which is a big deal for us photographers. Uh, I see there's a lot of videography uh, mentioned, videography mentioned in the in the job inter uh, in the job uh, like description. So on my on my previous company, the Carnival, the funnel, by the way. On my previous ship we didn't have any videography, only photography, the photographer was strict, no videography at all, so maybe on this ship we're gonna do videography as well, so let's see, I don't know what to expect, yeah. Eh, it's a decent size. With me I'm taking my laptop, it's Dell, it's a gaming laptop, it has GeForce, uh, GeForce GTX 1050 Ti and uh, i5 7th generation Intel Core, Intel Core. 8, gig of, 8 gigs of RAM, yeah. I just bought this ba backpack, it's from iShark, eShark, so very comfortable, I tried it on, there's a lot of space in it to carry my laptop in it. 
my camera gear, my GoPro, my all straps. I have chest for, for my head, for my GoPro as well. Everything that I need. A lot of small pockets that I can use. One of the good things about this backpack is it has a charging point. Yeah. So where is it? I bought this from Amazon. I'm gonna link my. I'm gonna put link in the description below, so where you can get it. Charge it up. I'm gonna charge it up before I go. You have plug in point, you plug it in, you charge your phone in here, you put your cable here, you charge your phone while you are uh, traveling from airport to airport. Uh, breakfast just arrived. Best grandma in the world. <sighs> so for without further ado. <laughs> so without further ado, red you take three. So without further ado, let's start. Okay. I got my GoPro Hero 5. A little bit. Hero 5 Black Edition. Fairly good, uh, fairly easy to use. And I can take it everywhere everywhere with me. I can put it in my backpack without the handle, with the with the handle, without the handle. Easy to use. Next thing. This is my camera strap. It's very, very good for working. If you're holding your camera throughout the day for 10, 10 hours straight every day, this is very good to use. It goes over your shoulder and it holds the camera upside down so you don't have like, and it goes like this. Now, let's pin it down. So you hold your camera here next to you and when you're walking, it's gonna pass next to you. It's much better when using this kind of trips, yeah, you know, that I use on my camera to go around your neck because 10 hours every day, you're gonna feel that neck pain in a few weeks. Always my charger with me for my camera. It's, I bought this camera like seven years ago. It's Canon 600D. It's crop lens, so it's crop sensor, so it's not full frame or something. Uh, this is how the charger looks like. Got the chest mount for the GoPro. The handle for the GoPro. And one more floating handle, so I don't put this in the water because it has these joints that uh, already put it in the water, but they get sand or something and and you can break it easily. That's why I use this cheap Amazon one. I'm gonna get link in the description for this one. You can order it. It's very simple to use, very efficient. Uh, if you want to go with your GoPro in the deep waters, because I've been to Jamaica to uh, Blue Hole in uh, Ocho Rios in Jamaica. That's like 10, 10 meters down, Blue Holes, uh, deep waters and everything. You don't want this thing to go down the drain. 10 bucks for this one, it's gonna do the work. Okay, I got my head mount right here. You can use it for your head. I have this lens. It's 50, uh, 50 millimeter fixed lens. So it's very good for portraits or very good for portraits. For people, for anything you want to get like that the best blurred shot. Always my headphones. Always taking my charger with me. It has capacity of seven charges for your phone. So fully charge it, you're gonna be done for days. You don't need to to search any plugging station on or the airport or even in the hotel. You can charge it only with this one. Apple ones. Always them. Chargers. As I mentioned, and if you don't want to hear anyone, use this one. But I don't really use this one. Or, yeah. Use this one. Oh. So yeah, that's about my gear that I'm gonna take with me. Uh, I have goals to buy a new gear, of course. It's, this camera is already like eight, seven, or eight, or even nine years old. 
So definitely need something better in my life. I, I mean, this camera is decent, don't get me wrong, I still can use it. And I'm gonna use it. She's done her job for the past nine years and taken like, I don't know how many photos, like maybe half a million, I guess. I don't know. I have a lot of photos, I have like 200 gigs of photos only, videos, not so much, but photos, a lot. Okay guys, one more thing, don't forget, if you're a photographer, you're gonna need, always need this. They don't allow headphones, they don't allow while you're working, because you need to be here with your head, but they allow speakers, like this one. Even if you're walking around water, it's waterproof, so... Gbell like this one, it's around 50 bucks, 50 to 70 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna also put link in the description for this one. It done a lot of job. I have it for like three years. It don't want to break. So very, very good quality, very good instrument to use it if you are a crew member for or on a cruise ship. So for guys, if you like this video, please press that like button, subscribe for more, uh, and see you around. Look in the camera!